Welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial answering a question I got from Nona Kyo for, you know, 10 months ago. <laughs> That's how it is, you know. Uh, and the question is, I'm trying to make a wall slash door open after collecting 20 coins. Uh, and Nona tried to do this by using my key card to unlock door tutorial, but that didn't work. And I guess that's because, yeah, who knows? You need to do it a little bit differently to make it work with that way of doing it. But we will do it in another way now. So. Let's just call this project open door with X items or key parts with key parts then. First person template is good enough. So we will imagine that we have a door that can only be opened if you collect, uh, say, 10 parts of a fractured key, for example, you know, if you need a story to go with it. So we will start by just setting up uh, the architecture. So go to starter content, architecture, and then just drag in the wall door. 400 times 300 pixels and we'll just place it right here why not then go to content create a new folder call it door with key parts give it a col color just because it looks nice now inside this right click create a blueprint class an actor we'll call this BP underscore key part so let's start by creating that so add components static mesh we will call this key part mesh just drag this on top of the scene roots and select a mesh I'm gonna search for a sphere shape sphere and I'm gonna make the y-axis 0.25 and just get it give it any material and I like the tick pulse as always like so and then on the collision collision presets overlap only pawn compile now go into the event graph delete these right click the key part mesh add event on begin overlap now create a new variable and we will call this key part underscore single make it an integer compile and make the value one because you pick up one key part right and then just drag it in here drag out from the overlap and we will cast to first person character connect other actor to object and what we will do is we will add this new key part to the character uh, but first we need to create a variable for the character so go to first person blueprints blueprints first person character and create a new variable that will be called key part 
total amount, for example. Make this an integer as well. Compile. And it will just be set to zero. Now go back to the key part and let's go get that variable. So as first person character, search for key part, get key part total amount. So we will take that amount plus integer and add this new key part to the total amount and then we will drag out this and we will set total okay so drag out this instead set total okay just search for total set key part total amount connect this to that and connect this to that so we get the current amount of key parts and then we add the new key part and then we set it set a new value which is included a new one now just to help us we can print this value to the screen so search for print and uncheck context sensitive and so select print string And then, uh, you know, upon picking it up, we can just take destroy actor. So the key part is removed from game when we pick it up. So now we can just check that this works. So compile and save and go out to the viewport. Find your blueprint key part. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> Play. And you see it says one up there. So if we duplicate it, so control W a couple of times, and then just separate them. We'll pick them up. One, two, three, right? So it works. Now we will create the door. So right click blueprint class actor bp underscore door add components static mesh we will call it door mesh add another component it will be a collision box we'll call it door collision now select your door mesh and we will find a mesh and I'm simply gonna use sm underscore door and we will align it and we will align the collision box and make it big enough to fit the player into it so to speak so to speak, so to speak, like this. Now compile and save, and we can go out and just place the door to see that it looks good. It should be a little bit bigger actually. So select the door and the y-axis make that 1.2 perhaps compile get a little bit more 1.25 then that's good enough good enough no biggie but I'm gonna turn it around because we're gonna rotate it and it will be rotated here where this where this thing is right like this 
So now go to the event graph of the door and delete this and right click the door collision and event on component begin overlap. Now we will get the player and we will check if the player has picked up enough key parts to activate the door. So drag this out and take cast to first person character. Collect other connect other character to object and drag out this and search for total and get key part total amount. Now if this is bigger or equal to some number then branch then we will do something and that number is decided by the door so we will create a new variable in here and we will call this key k key parts required amount for example make this an integer and compile so now we can set this for whatever you want uh, let's set it for 10 we can take this and just drag it over here so we will check the total amount of key parts and if it's equal to or more than 10 then we'll do something and if it's not then we'll print a string simply that says ouch you need 10 key parts total kiddo and just make that red now connect this to that and true if you have 10 or more then we will set actor rotation so we will give the door a new rotation and we will rotate it in the z axis so the z axis i don't know 90 perhaps and compile and save and let's see what we can do so if we go into the game and we go here ouch you need 10 key parts total kiddo so we pick up these and it still says it because we don't have 10 so let's create 10 so select these and control W to duplicate and do it again and create one more 6, 10, yes. So now, pick up all of these. Now we got 10. Boom, it opens, and we hear the angel sing, and everything is perfect. Well, the door is ugly, and it didn't animate smoothly, and whatever, but you know, you get the gist. So, if this was a portal, instead of setting the actor rotation, you could just simply destroy the actor you know and add some particles to make it look good and it would just boom, right so that's it I hope that was helpful and you know have a great day